America is dotted with small towns in all 50 states. And over the years, these towns grow and shrink for all sorts of reasons. Industry comes and goes. Their isolation limits growth. Disaster might make them too dangerous to live in. Or maybe future generations simply are lured away by the lights of the big city or the opportunity that larger towns may provide. This means that it's not all that uncommon for towns to simply die out. This is usually a slow process and one that leaves ghost towns behind. But ghost towns have stories to tell. There are records left in the towns themselves, in historical records of the region, and most notably from the people who called these dead towns their home. Nostalgia is a powerful force and many people reminisce about their childhood towns, even if those towns might not seem special to anyone else. But what happens when a town simply disappears? What happens when locals in the region don't remember a neighboring town? Don't remember anyone who moved to it? And don't remember anyone who came from it? This is TV24, WCGV, Milwaukee, where the stars shine. Well, this is the case with the supposed town of Doveland, Wisconsin. Did it exist? Ever? And if so, what happened to this small town in rural Wisconsin? Information on Doveland is scant, but the first mention of it online seems to come from a now deleted and since archived Tumblr post that appeared on the website sometime around 2015. The post starts with a simple question. Anyone here ever heard of Doveland, Wisconsin? The post goes on to talk about Doveland and how it was apparently a small town in Wisconsin that simply vanished from existence sometime roughly in the late 1980s or early 1990s. Relatively recent for a story of this nature. The post goes on to state that no one in the region seems to remember Doveland, but that memorabilia from the town does seem to exist out in the wild. Maps don't show Doveland in the region, and there is speculation on if the town ever actually existed and what may or may not have happened to it and to its inhabitants. Now, the most plausible explanation is that Doveland never really existed and the original post was nothing more than a hoax. Searching for information on Doveland online leads mostly to message boards talking about the town with all manner of ideas regarding it, alongside general confusion about it. Still, there are those that claim to have vague memories of Doveland, while others point to other communities in rural areas that simply disappeared without a trace throughout American history. Over the years, posts would sporadically appear stating that a parent or grandparent or someone they knew lived in a nearby town and had some form of Dublin, Wisconsin branded t-shirt, either from the town itself or from one of the local establishments that called Doveland home. There are even reports that those in nearby towns had relatives who recalled hearing radio station broadcasts coming from Doveland and giving out the call letters for the station itself. One particular post on the Obscure and Legends wiki page even features a photo that claims to have been taken at a local restaurant in Doveland. The page also has an account from someone whose father claims Doveland was, in fact, a very real place. 
The post goes on to say, My father lived there for a year or two and spoke of it occasionally. The main thing I remember is that it had to do with Project Sanguine in the early 60s. I don't think it was X-Files type stuff, but the town was destroyed after an incident. I thought they were digging up a ton of land for something and they flooded the town or something. But this is a rehashed second-hand memory from years ago. Now this post seems to suggest that Doveland was a town populated mostly by military personnel and their families. Still, others from Wisconsin don't think this to be the case, with one local claiming that the supposed location for Doveland doesn't match those used by Project Sanguine. The U.S. Navy's Project Sanguine, later known as Project ELF or Project ELF, when it was scaled back due to lack of funding, was an extremely low frequency transmitter designed to communicate with submarines while they were underwater. The original project plans called for this grid of antennas extending throughout a large area of northern Wisconsin and Michigan. It seems that the idea was to turn the entire state of Wisconsin itself into this sort of massive antenna. Potentially hundreds of power plants would be built into the earth to power this antenna system and generate the ELF waves needed for the project. Strangely enough, that project was active until eventually shut down sometime in 2004. The interesting thing that many have noted is the name for the project itself, Sanguine. In most regards, Sanguine relates to blood, or more specifically, the color of blood. Why would the Navy choose this term for their ELF project. Some believe that the project itself was far more than a simple ELF testing station and that blood was, in fact, a part of the project, or that some ritual was involved alongside that project, although no evidence of this currently exists. Now, this military connection helps to connect the dots for many people who think that whatever may have happened to Doveland was some sort of military accident, as testing of the antenna system didn't begin until 1982. A theory suggests that perhaps a test of the system went wrong and that the low frequency transmissions carried out in the town of Doveland or at a nearby location caused some sort of incident. One of the more out there theories suggests that the entire town was somehow shunted into another dimension or that the test itself shifted our own reality into another. Now, a more down-to-earth theory suggests that Project Sanguine simply went wrong at the Doveland location and caused an accident which rendered the town uninhabitable and that the military simply then covered up the disaster. But what does the memorabilia from Doveland that still exists mean? Perhaps Doveland was in fact a real town that simply died out over the years, but did so long before the dating of the late 80s and early 90s. The appearance of Doveland items for sale online that came about seemingly at random could simply be related to AI bots online who troll the internet for terms that quickly rise in popularity and then auto-generate merchandise for it to make a quick buck for those producing it. Right now, we simply don't have enough information regarding Doveland to say one way or the other, but the lack of information on the town pre-2017 suggests it possibly began as an online hoax. But for what reason? No one seems to be making much or any money, at least not in any large form, from the Doveland mystery especially at the time of the original posts, and no nearby cities are using it, at this time at least, to drive up tourism. Still, the connections with Project Sanguine are intriguing, and while the later Project ELF never built its antenna system underground into the bedrock itself, it may have not done so because of the tests carried out in or near Doveland that may have led to its destruction and quick cover-up. 
or maybe because Dovlin or ourselves shifted from one reality to another, potentially kicking off the Mandela effect that seems to become so apparent in the past several years. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Dovlin, Project Sanguine, and if you or anyone you know remembers the small town that simply disappeared. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this fun little mystery as much as we did researching it. Links to some of our sources used in our research will be in the description below. And be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more mysteries. And share this video around with all your friends and family to help our channel grow. Until next time, stay safe out there, and remember to keep your eyes and minds open because you never know when that next mystery might unfold right in front of you.